comes the intimidating fear. Six foot four, 275 pounds of pure punishment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing Indus Sheer from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds. Veer has arrived, and there is nothing to fear but Veer himself. All jokes aside, Veer really is a frightening sight. Six foot eight, 300 pounds. Here comes Sangha. And his partner. Representing Indus Sheer from India, weighing in at 297 pounds, Sangha! At one point in time, Sangha served as the enforcer for one Grayson Waller. Yeah, backing up Waller's loud mouth is a full-time job, but now Sangha is fully focused on his own success. You better be careful, Saxton. I hear Waller still has Sangha on a retainer. Sangha about to get to work. It might not be pretty, but it will be destructive. Sheesh. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. The fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit, I got no love. For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit, I got no love. For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love For the fakeness If you wanna play tough And wanna hate this I'll always show up And make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love For the fakeness If you wanna play tough And wanna hate this I'll always show up And make a statement I'll be an incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. And slip. Take off. Down with the elbow. Goes into the pin. And there's the kick out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. There's Press. Hit right away. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. What a boot. Oh, what a spy buster. Just 
breaking down the opponent. And the manager is searching into the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Put it in the corner now. Drop it. Wow. And Sangha was on the wrong end there. Yeah, as that competitive streak of the Alpha Academy really shined through there. Close line. What impact. There's the tag. Oh, close line. Spine buster. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Crank in the head. He thinks he has it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Not even a near fall there. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Right into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. Some serious harm. Elbows after elbows after elbows. And then a stop. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Otis with the reversal. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. He gets tagged in. The better part of Valor. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. Placing them into the corner. Headlock applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oh, right in there. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Sack of do you know what? What a counter! Oof. Touch Astro. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. And tag, he did it. Let's go. One step ahead of Bear there. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Ripped in the hard way. Oh, compressed in the corner. Two count. He's one.
dog counts are gonna get harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, the swift takedown. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Oh, that might have just broken something. Tossed into the corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Otis just continues to mount the offense. Seeing some hellacious offense from Otis. On the 330 pounder, Otis squashing his man in the corner and now setting him up. I do believe we're going to see it. The electrifying caterpillar from the big man, Otis. And that was off. And this has got to be it. And they're still in this. going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. Oh, my goodness. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Beer is feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Mahan showing no answer for this attack. Can Mahan recover from this adversity? Not discus clothesline. He may get the three count right here. for one of the best teams around with that win. As far as I'm concerned, that was a hearty shoes. Show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement, the map is sacred. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. Guys, I am feeling the power of Tazawa. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan. Weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! I consider myself lucky to have a victory over Tozawa. He is one tough competitor. 
So if I beat you, does that make me better than Tazawa? Here in WWE, Gunther is known as the Ring General, a fitting name for a savvy and ring veteran whose cunning tactics and ruthless execution are razor sharp. Few superstars are as commanding between the ropes as Gunther. No wasted movement, no foolhardy attacks. Gunther is the very picture of steadfast control. I'm sure the Ring General is intent on taking full command of this match and forcing things to go his way. But you cannot underestimate a superstar like Tazawa. He has proved that sometimes big things come in small packages. A big personality with the ability to throw around much bigger superstars than himself. You don't want Tazawa to catch you sleeping because he will German suplex you in response. Oh. Hurricane Rana. He skirts around it. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, that can break an arm. Big forearm. Not so fast. That could be it. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Kick right to the back of the... These two going strike for strike, it seems. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Slugging away with everything they've got. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Ooh. Who will break? First, that is the question. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. He's got fist after fist, neither one relenting here. Oh my, that'll rock you. Corey, Akira Tozawa isn't the biggest or strongest superstar in WWE. How can he increase his odds in this match? Tozawa's speed is almost unmatched in the WWE locker room. If Tozawa can fire all his cylinders and play in possum, shoulders down, and the count doesn't even begin. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. And he's out of there in a nick of time. And this one might be headed ringside. Tozawa felt that coming. DDT! Senton connects. Enable to counter. Sharp elbow to the body, looking to fight his way out. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. A series of clotheslines delivered by this competitor. Manages to duck out of the way, followed by a here he goes. Missing the pin. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Slips out of the way there. What? Gunter from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rare naked choke now locked in. The official asking him, is he going to 
the tap as he and he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Big boot! Incredible. They're just toying with their opponent right now. Having fun at their expense. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Arm drag. Simple yet effective way to get out of a predicament. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh, setting him up in position here. On the second row. Tornado DDT. And Gunther is showboating right now. The ring general. Powerball. It's all Gunther's for the taking. He's still in this fight. Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's take. Here we go. Good Lord. Taking flight. Coming down their opponent like a sack of bricks. Whoa, not quite yet. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, stomping away. Oh, strong impact. Stomping the leg. It's the mark. And Gunther is showcasing his arsenal. Gunther is just doing what he pleases. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kick to the body. Tozawa manages the counter. Finally, Tozawa's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Tozawa isn't allowing that burst. He just took on to end him. Kick to the midsection. Setting them up. Canadian Destroyer! Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Up high. Diving Hurricane Rana. Whoa! <gasps> What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. Setting them up. Canadian Destroyer. Heading up, he's thinking big. Tozawa gets countered. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Boom, a forearm. Take down, look at the front. Incredibly important moment right there. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. Ah. Oh! oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Gut wrench suplex. Gunther lining him up from up high. From the top. What a splash. That's the astonishingly crushing offense we've come to expect. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, Gunther. And Akira Tozawa with the loss here. I never doubted Gunther for a second. Gunther doesn't seem surprised either. He expected to win. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross.
only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. She won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside Io Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. Descended from generations of warriors, fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. with mixed tag team rules in effect. The competition gets underway with Karrion Cross and Scarlett, and they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with our truth and Alba Fire. Picks the leg, look at the ankle lock submission. Oh, look at the, the ankle lock is in. There's no escape, oh, hold on. Maybe there is. Bang, vicious boot. Can he do it here? No, he pops the shoulder before three. He got close there. It could be do or die time. DDT. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Elbow drop. Piercing. Cross fends that off. And Truth capitalizes there. Seeing an answer for every move. This is a tough submission to be in, but he found his way out. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Quick takedown there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. And a dominant display from Cross. 
These women have been chomping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. Takedown, skull first. Drop toe hold. Funny. Driven down face first. She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to leave the ring too. DDT! Planet.